Hi, hello everyone and welcome back out here. So, this movie might really impress you a lot. So, first of all, let's create the situation where we fell into and then we will realize that this movie is important and this light move, this really, really a uh, simply tiny move can save us into a lot of trouble. So let's say I just want to create a high score and you all know creating a high score is not at all an easy task. You first of all need an existing score, then there might be a current score. I'll simply have a current score, then there might be a past score. So let's have that and there might be a future score. So have that. Again, a user can have some already having credits and user can also have a daily bonus so i'll just write a bonus out here and user may also purchase some credit so that might be in his credit info and there might be something else as well so i'll just name it as random i don't know what it is but it is something notice what happened out here i'm not aware how many variables i have declared or how many values i need to have and this is because simple reason i have moved on from my screen so my screen is out here from the high score and just for the purpose not everyone has got a big screen so eventually you will fall in the situation where you might get something like this now you might want to break out the chunk so you will say i'll have plus this here so what i'll do i'll just simply hit a enter key out here so just after the score i'll hit a enter key and notice eventually if i save this it prompts me a red error you cannot do that you are not allowed now although my code is visible but i'm not allowed to do that so what does that mean i have to declare my entire variable and calculation in just a one big long one kilometer line no you are not allowed to do so because we don't have that much of room obvious situation so what would be the solution of that now the solution is really simple just put a backspace a backslash out here and notice the error is gone but let me recall the error again i hit the enter key and i place my cursor out here and i put uh, one space and backslash and save this now notice the error is right now gone but let me just have it here and put it a one backspace and save this now in some cases it might prompt an error and in some cases it might not now what you really want to do in this situation now here is my simple trick that might work for you now in some cases it might prompt it might not prompt if it is not prompting an error just leave it it's really a great code but here is one thing that i have observed quite a lot in my life that whenever you put a backspace or a backslash out here make sure that there is no space between the new line and this backslash if there is any space out here there are high chances and notice there the error pops up because python is really really case sensitive about the spaces space really matters a lot so make sure that whenever you put a backspace or the backslash there is no space between the next line and again we can verify this example out here now notice in this case it's just simply a space but if i put a space out here and save this notice it happened again so what is the thing that you can go up with this in this movie that you can have multiple lines being assigned out here but you only have to be worried about one thing that there is no trailing space and at the end of the line where you are putting this backslash okay one thing good enough now moving on to the second thing now you will also see that there are a lot of variables which i'll be declaring something like this if i say sum and then i put something like this now when i put two angular braces or the brackets simply out here the square brackets i can have something like this one two three then i can put enter i can have something like this now it is not going to prompt me error right now it is prompting just for the simple reason i haven't put a comma out here apart from that there is no problem so you are allowed in these cases but these are some special cases for the continuation allotment of the characters we will talk about these later these are known as arrays dictionaries tuples and quite a lot of them are out here but our goal in this movie is just to learn how we can write multiple line statements of the code and we have done that so let's move on to the next movie